But one of the first things Melissa Schumann talks about is how the, the label was really trying to arrange yes. at least a physical encounter with Nick Carter, if not a relationship. She even had a boyfriend. She was 16 years old. Yes. She already has a boyfriend. And the label uh, was pressuring her, pressuring her to, to date or fuck or get assaulted, whatever, uh, mm -hmm. by, you know, um, a man of their choice. They really she, wanted one of the members of Dream, at least, to date either right. NSYNC or Backstreet Boys. Right. And, and she then, even claimed she was being sexualized by her um, label and yeah. that she was only 16 and she was still a virgin. Had and a she boyfriend. Was, and she had a boyfriend <clears throat> that she had only, like, kissed. And um, they were, for, like, forcing her to wear all these sexy clothes and do very sexualized music videos and yeah. things like that. Um, and so... Um, but she came from um, a Christian um, upbringing, a very good Christian upbringing is what she says and things like that. So, yeah. And again, um, remember, guys, this is just a mainstream media narrative that we're getting from HBO. So a lot of these, you know, the, there's a lot of holes in all of their stories. But, um, you know, just be aware of that. Be aware that we're being sold a narrative, not necessarily 100 percent the truth. But back to the manufactured relationships. Right. As Marissa was talking about. Remember, Nick Come contacted her team right whatever that means right that's so yeah to like arrange a date and she had a boyfriend or something i i don't remember exactly but she actually switched industries trying to get away from this pressure yeah and he literally they this was a little bit later i think when she was a dream i think made a couple songs had a couple of records but she left music went into movies right and she lands the movie role for hollow guess who the and this is years later right guess who the lead uh actor is nick nick carter yes so uh you know it, it, it appears as if either nick is stalking her through different industries or the industry itself is gang stalking her using nick Right. Um, right. Which, and then I'm confused as you know, is this because the industry thought Nick and Melissa Schumann could be like an Angelina Brad Pitt type of situation? I think so. Or is it because Nick was lusting after Melissa Schumann? I think it's and the both. industry just you know he took had advantage of, of that. Yeah, and they oh. were all enablers. Okay, so they were enabling Nick possibly, but mm -hmm. also they thought that would be a. Uh, relationship they could sell profit off of. Okay. Yes. I, I like I like that angle. You're that, I like the way you're thinking there. <laughs> um <clears throat> so and and it just so happened that like AJ entered rehab so Nick had to go solo. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. That was convenient, right? Yeah. As as Melissa Schumann's trying to break out in the movies. Nick all of a sudden needs a solo career and has to do a movie too. Right. <laughs> it's know, just like give crazy. me a freaking break. But you had the um the situation where, um, you know, the label knowing that Schumann had a boyfriend fo eventually forced her to meet Nick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and so that was scary. That was in 2003. She was 18. He was 22. And this is before they film hollow. Also the, the hollow movie, like, it, that's it's a dark movie. It's like I've a never Halloween. seen it. Well, it's like a Halloween movie. I mean, there's yeah. a picture in the documentary of Nick in a graveyard. Yeah. You know, uh, that's Nick's first film. That's her first. I mean, they're B actors probably, but right. still, it, don't you think that esoterically it's, it's a little creepy? It is for sure. Typically tries to switch industries. Well, Nick she 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 did switch. And remember that was earlier. Oh right 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 right. So right. she's forced so to she, do the she, movie. Right, so she did the movie. The dad let her do the movie after the rape occurred. Marissa, I can't rationalize this in my mind. I can't either. Unless there's a motivation there. I know. I, it's, you know, again, I don't want to make accusations here, but it's just, it's very sad. It's it's, it's very tragic. hard to you know, deal with, like, mentally as a viewer. Yeah. You know, how, how could, you know. You let your daughter do that. Like, like you have to work with her her assailant. I know. You know, um, and maybe who knows? Like the, the, anything. We could speculate there could be all day, male, all night. It could but... be blackmail. It could be a ceremonial, you know, yeah. Freemasonic sacrificial kind of stuff. Could be a financial motivations. Could just be narcissistic fame wars. Who fucking knows? But I really don't get it, man. I, I just don't know how, you know, your daughter tells you this and then still, uh, I mean, she's 18. Again, she can do whatever she wants. Maybe she made the choice. Right. Um, but uh, it, why the industry? Why her man? Like, 
these people are dark. They're sick. They're twisted. They're satanic. And they are um, abusers, murderers, rapists, yes. uh, drug addicks, yeah. you know, I mean, um, dr drug dealers, <laughs> drug um, dealer, prescription drug dealer. dealer, somebody call Spencer and get him over. Oh my God. Right. That's horrible. So um, we have a couple more things here. But uh, it should basically through. like at the, I just want to like say like, you know, all of this makes me think and because at the end of it all, at the end, they, they said that. She um, didn't want to work with Nick and Nick was and said something to the effect of like, well, obviously you don't like me. Mm -hmm. And two weeks later, she got dropped from that label because that, yeah. they were on the same label after that. And they like she got a different um, manager, right? The careers guy, Kevin. Yeah, careers. Yeah. yeah, She said she OK, she got a new manager. Kevin career can't find a day. They show a picture of a black dude, uh, you know at a red carpet event. Can't find any information out about no. this dude. Just so happens to be, what did Melissa say? Fam the family to Nick, like family to Nick Carter, you know, yeah. and she didn't know that when she signed with him. So she got dropped um, and blacklisted from the industry after kind of like we're shutting Nick down and again and all that stuff. And um, my whole question is like, was she potentially gang stock? Do you know? Yeah. Aaron claimed BSB gang stalking. Well, was Melissa gang stalked? By BSB gang stalkers. Yeah. And, well, I think the industry, uh, that part is, of the industry is manufacturing uh, a, a program of BSB gang stalkers against Melissa. This documentary perhaps could be part of the program to BSB gang stalk Melissa Schumann. I mean, one can only speculate here, right. but I think that, uh, you know, the gang stalking element, um, must be very real with some of these victims in, yes. in, in these and, industries. And, and my heart hurts for Aaron. It does. Um, I wish I took him a little bit more seriously back when I was a viewer of his lives, you know? Yeah. I do. Um, because I think he, I think we all, there was a lot more truth to what he was saying than just drug psychosis. You know, that's just my, just knowing what I know so far, we're going to get into the next um, episode tomorrow. So we'll be back. Um, and I want to say too, I did get a DM, I believe from these people, maybe a year, year and a half ago. Uh, about being involved in the documentary. Um, they had seen some of my clips or videos or something. I never had responded. I, cause at the time I, I don't know, I was busy trading and working and I just didn't want to be involved with mainstream media or with Carterverse content at the time, but they did reach out to me and I, uh, you know, declined to work with them. I don't know if they told me it was HBO, but even if they did, like, I still wouldn't have been interested in, you know, that mainstream media garbage, but I pretty <laughs> much got through everything I want to say. Did, I did. Did, yeah.